Bonifier Medical Center and Doctors for a Healthier Bronx have come together hosting their 13th annual Community Walkathon and Health Fair, giving residents access, I should say, access, I should say, to medical services, games, prizes, and much more. And here now to share more about the event is Roberto Garcia, Senior Director of Community and Governmental Relations of Montefiore Medical Center, as well as Wendell Alexis, Manager of Community Relations of Montefiore Medical Center. We welcome you both to the thank you. show. Thank you. And, uh, thank you very much, John, for having us, and thank you for this incredible menu, you, you provide such a wealth of information for Bronxites and uh, your show is a, a, a beacon of hope and of information for the uh, borough. So thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Well, and thank you for what you guys are doing, because obviously you guys are, <laughs> are, are major participants at Bronx Week. Uh, in addition to being participants in Bronx Week, we talked about this 13th annual community uh, walkathon and health fair. So, uh, why don't you walk us through the walkathon, right? Sure, now. sure. So, first of all, it's uh, co sponsored by Montefiore and Doctors for a Healthier Bronx. Uh, it's an organization that's comprised of over 100 uh, physicians who volunteer their time and energy and professionalism throughout the borough to promote health and wellness for the community. Uh, and we basically understand that um, there's ways that we can prevent some of the chronic illnesses that Bronxites and other people in the city are facing. Uh, as we know, the Bronx is one of the worst statistics for health uh, in the country uh, and is ranked one of the worst in, in the state with the, the, the worst habits and the worst uh, outcomes. So we need to do something. Uh, we are the borough of uh, medicine and it's interesting that uh, one out of four in the, every four individuals in the Bronx are actually um, employed in healthcare. But yet we have these staggering, horrible statistics that wow. we really need to address. So what we do at Montefiore is we team up with organizations and, and members like the Doctors for a Healthier Bronx to, again, promote healthy lifestyles, healthy living, uh, with, the, with the hope that people will really take charge of their health, their lives, and help us, you know, uh, uh, prevent the negative, you know, aspects of, uh, of the diseases and, and chronic illnesses that are, you know, uh, prevalent in our community. Mm -hmm. Well, so what will people see on this particular day? It'll be a fun-filled event. Um, certainly the underlying uh, message is that uh, health is very important, not only to Montefiore, but also to Doctors for Healthier Bronx. We've been working with them for the past several years. And um, the event itself uh, entails uh, just three aspects. Really, the health component, which is the uh, screenings. Uh, secondly, the uh, award component, which is um, this year we, we're proud to honor uh, Dr. Safier. Uh, CEO and President of Montefiore Medical Center for his work and his uh, contributions uh, to health care. And uh, the third part is going to be for the kids. Uh, naturally, they are the ones that unfortunately some of these uh, indicators are starting to hit. We're starting to see type 2 diabetes in young kids as well. So we're trying to get the message across that start early, do um, your exercise, get out and enjoy. Um, the outside and make sure that you exercise. Mm -hmm. You guys spend a lot of time with community awareness, engagement, really trying to get people involved and really, you know, in, in, in a day in society right now where it's important to be very health conscious. Mm -hmm. Are you finding that more and more people are now catching on, taking advantage of the resources, not just taking the literature, but really right. taking advantage of the resources? I think it's definitely the case. And I think as we see um, the changes that's happening with the Affordable Care Act, as it's known as Obamacare, and as we see that we're all in this together. So it's not only Montefiore, it's Bronx Lebanon, it, it's, it's Doctors for Healthier Bronx, it's St. Barnabas, it's all of the health providers that are really getting together and saying, we're in this together. And our patients, many times, our patients are utilizing multiple um, uh, uh, sites and multiple uh, providers. And we have to send a message that patients have to be responsible, really have to take charge of their lives. And I think that by sponsoring these events and activities, and we sponsor hundreds every year, um, we promote that healthier living and that consciousness and saying, you know what, um, let's find out what your hemoglobin A1C is and see where your sugar levels are at. And if we catch your, your levels at a point where we can modify your habits through healthier exercise and, of course, healthier eating, um, and other health uh, indicators, we may be able to even prevent you from progressing in diabetes or obesity and all these other areas. And we're seeing, again, as Wendell mentioned, we're getting, ch especially children, we're getting a lot of issues with diabetic children and obesity is really prevalent in the Bronx and, and we are the borough of the youngest population. And so again, we need to address, and we have multiple programs like Being Fit and many other programs here in Montefiore that address those um, conditions 
very much in particular, and, and we have centers of excellence that really, at, at the hospital, that really focuses on those issues. Mm -hmm. You talked a little bit about Bronx Week a little bit early on the show, and you guys are highly engaged with Bronx Week as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us a little bit about the engagement that you guys are doing before we come back and talk more about money. Sure, sure. So, um, you know, we are very proud to be the major corporate sponsor of Bronx Week. We've been engaged with Bronx Week for over 10 years now. Um, you know, we part of what we do is that we have to engage not only our friends in medicine, but also our friends in, in, in public service and in, in politics. Um, that's extremely important because there are a lot of issues uh, that uh, have to be addressed as far as uh, um, public policy issues and legislative issues that need to be addressed that is exp extremely important. And we see that the collaboration with the borough president's office is key, just like it is with uh, other senators and other folks. But Bronx Week is really a celebration of the Bronx, and for us this year is extremely important because Montefiore celebrates 100 years of, of providing services here in the Bronx. Bronx this year. So for us, it's a very big birthday also this mm -hmm. year. Um, and, and so again, we are proud to sponsor events and activities that, you know, uh, promote health and wellness. And we have a couple of events that we are going to be participating in, including uh, the health pavilion that's going to be taking place at the uh, Bronx Week uh, Festival. Uh, and again, a, a wealth of information is going to be disseminated. We have over 40 different health related organizations that come together that day to provide screenings and information on health. And then the other pieces that we have, um, at Hostos Community College on Friday, May 17th, we have our annual uh, health fair uh, that's taking place that's organized by Bronx Health Link and, and Montefiore. And uh, it's going to be a great opportunity, again, for people to, you know, mm -hmm. really get a wealth of information. Uh, well, when you talk about engaging the community and mm -hmm. getting people really active, and whether it's the collaboration of, you know, other health, health uh, organizations or it's just a collaboration of trying to get community part What's it been like in with you know in terms of Monty and in terms of really getting that buy-in? Are you finding there's, there's a strong buy-in? There's definitely a strong buy-in. I think there's certainly a need, and Montefiore has certainly um, made um, laid the groundwork where I think we reached to a, reach out to a lot of the uh, community organizations and a lot of the community to not only as far as the health uh, issues are concerned to change their eating habits or their health habits, but also getting information and getting these services out to the community where people can reach them and, and make sure that information gets to them. So in the future, we've got some things coming down the pipe? Well, you know, Montefiore is, is consistently growing and providing incredible services. Consistently service. doing something. Consistently <laughs> doing something. Um, you know, we, we are, we're, we're plateauing now on our uh, 18,000 uh, employees now. I mean, we're, we're at the point we have over 18,000 associates, uh, as we call uh, our employees at Montefiore right now. We just um, opened up the new uh, Montefiore Westchester Square uh, just last month, and it's a comprehensive uh, site uh, where we provide ambulatory care. We purchased uh, the assets of that, that uh, former Westchester Square Medical Center. Um, and again, we're, we're consistently growing. We're working on several major capital projects, uh, and we're investing a lot of money into building uh, in many different areas. So, you know, it's, it's a, a, a progress. It's always progress at Montefiore. And uh, w one thing I can tell you, Darren, as you know, is that uh, Montefiore is committed to community. And I think that that's what differentiates us from any other hospital or medical center in the country, that we are really engaged in the community uh, by providing not only health information, but the health of the community, whether it's real estate, whether it's economic community development or managing bids or you know managing business districts. At the end of the day, we feel that it's a holistic approach to medicine. It's not just diagnosing a patient, um, giving them a pill or two, and then having them come back for follow-up. It's what's ailing the community, being a partner in the community, being a partner with our providers, our elected officials, and most importantly, our patients. Mm -hmm. Navigating our patients in a way that they know that they have to take charge of their lives and partnering with uh, um, the groups like Doctors for Healthier Bronx that commit themselves and volunteer their time and energy for the betterment and the health of the borough. Well, thank you guys for coming and sharing. And definitely the partnership is there with community and you've been partnering with us and we continue to give people healthier information and it's through guys such as yourself that we're really able to do that. Thanks so much for coming and sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Best wishes with the walkathon.